Now, we've looked at how prepositional phrases can modify nouns, but there's more that prepositional phrases can do. Um, they can modify other things besides just nouns. Uh, and in that case, we may have things that are acting as adverbs. For example, suppose I have the sentence, the situation was duly reported by the workhouse authorities to the parish authorities. In this case, what we want to look for are our prepositional phrases again. And what we find, we have by, is our preposition, the workhouse authorities. That's one of our prepositional phrases. And we also have to, the parish authorities. So those are both prepositional phrases. And the task in putting the sentence together as a diagram is to figure out exactly where each of these pieces go. Now, we can start by saying our subject, by the way, prepositional phrases are never going to be part of the subject or verb. So if you're hunting for the subject and verb, sometimes finding the prepositional phrases first lets you eliminate them, and then you can more uh, clearly find our subject and verb. So if we start with our basic core of the sentence, we can start with our subject being situation. And our verb here, this is a little bit tricky. It's actually not was duly reported, but just plain was reported. I've mentioned how adverbs are slippery. Duly is actually an adverb. So sometimes adverbs can show up anywhere, in this case, right in the middle of our verb. So we want to accomplish, we want to say, OK, we have the. That's describing situation. It's saying uh, which situation. It's the situation. Then I mentioned duly is an adverb. As an adverb, we know it's going to connect to the verb. So we have duly, which basically is saying, how was this reported? It was duly reported. Now we've got to figure out where those prepositional phrases are going to happen. In this case, we say, OK, by the workhouse authorities, that's actually describing reported. So we attach our prepositional phrase to the verb. So we have by the workhouse. Again, this is an adjective. It's describing what kind. In this case, authorities. And then we also have another prepositional phrase, to the parish authorities. And once again, we see it's going to apply to the verb. So what we're looking at now is adverbial prepositional phrases. So by the authorities answers the question, uh, in what way, which is something that adverbs uh, modify. Then we also have to the parish authorities, and that answers an adverb question too. It's actually answering the question where. And once again, it applies to was reported, so we'll make this line longer so I can connect. And we have to 
the parish authorities. So once again, you'll see when you've got this diagram, this is one of the beautiful things about the diagram. You focus on the core of the sentence, which is situation was reported. Then all of these modifiers, your adjectives, uh, your adverbs, your prepositional phrases, all are represented by dangly bits. And you put those dangly bits, uh, attach them to whatever it is they're modifying. So in the previous example, <coughs> we had a prepositional phrase that was modifying the object of another prepositional phrase. And in this case, we have two prepositional phrases that both are modifying the verb of the sentence. So prepositional phrases um, are very flexible. And you want to keep that in mind when you're writing uh, to make sure you've got your prepositional phrases in a place where they belong uh, to show how things are connected.